Here I have four PSC mo fan motors. They're, they're all indoor blower motors, uh, all made within probably the last 25 years, possible exception of this old A.O. Smith, maybe a little older than that, but uh, they're pretty much the same type of motor. But there are varying horsepowers, and they're varying amp draws. They're all 120 volts, so uh, that's all the same. And the purpose of this video is to help you when you're replacing these motors. Because a lot of guys, and me included, started out replacing these motors by the horsepower rating. The horsepower rating is virtually worthless. It doesn't tell you anything. It's kind of a ballpark number. Different brands have different horsepowers and but amp draw will tell you what you need to know. So let's look close at these things and see what kind of variations we have. On these first two motors, let's compare these. Now this one says its horsepower is one third. Okay, 115 volt. Amperage draw, 520, 5.2. This one here is a half horse 115 amp draw 7.9 now that sounds logical go from a third horse to a half horse uh, and you have an increase in draw that looks normal now let's look at these other two okay both of these motors are three-quarter horse if you look here you see horsepower three-quarter this one here says horsepower three quarter. Voltage 115 on each of them. By the way, these are all 1075 RPM, so they are a good comparison. Uh, this one's three quarter horse and this one's three quarter horse. Now you can tell the difference. You look at these things, these motors aren't the same. They're all multi-speed motors, but you know, this this thing, the, the frame is much larger on this one. Okay, this one says 8.0 amps. Maximum amp draw. Okay, this one says 11.2. Okay, obviously, this is more three-quarter horse than this is. If I come on to a job where I have, let's say I have a failed motor like this one here. And I say, okay, I don't have the factory motor, so I'll just get a general replacement motor. Nothing wrong with general replacement. So I say, well, give me a three-quarter horse motor. So I go get a three-quarter horse motor, and it turns out to be this one, 8 amps. What's going to happen when I put it in this 11.2 amp load? It's going to overdraw, and it's going to burn up the motor. Okay. So when you replace these motors, if I'm replacing one motor with another, I don't care what the horsepower is. It really doesn't make much difference to me. What I'm looking for is the same, of course, physical configuration of the motor, but I'm looking at the amperage draw. That's the important part. I have seen three-quarter horse motors that were 13 amps. And what if I put this 8 amp motor in that 13 amp load? This thing will probably draw about 11, 12 amps. So it's, it's going to fail. It's going to kick out an overload first and it'll kick out forever until uh, the uh, motor fails. So when you're replacing motors, look more to the amp draw than the horsepower rating. The horsepower rating is mostly meaningless. Okay, that's all on that one.